Today marks a new chapter in Canadian aviation. After 22 months of it being grounded, Transport Canada has recertified the 737 MAX for commercial passenger use on January 20th, 2021. To keep your personal interest, I'll be breaking out what changes have been made for the aircraft to make it safe without flooding you with too much information. I will also be making a review of the business class product that Air Canada is offering today. WestJet was the first airline in Canada to fly the MAX after the groundings on January 21st, the day after it was recertified. Air Canada was following starting flights on February 1st. The initial start for Air Canada was flying the MAX out of Toronto to a handful of destinations across Canada. There were multiple MAX departures on day one, the first being Montreal to Toronto, the second to Halifax, this was the first Toronto departure, and the third to Edmonton. All these flights were within an hour of landing and taking off. Today we'll be taking the third flight to Edmonton. Here's our aircraft. There is still a lot of uncertainty around the aircraft in terms of safety after the two tragic incidents that happened in 2018 and 2019. The reputation of this plane was lost with the general public, but since then, Boeing and the airlines operating the MAX have made contingent efforts to restore customer confidence in the plane deeming it safe after much scrutiny and safety updates. I will provide more details on this matter, but for now, here's our seat today, 4A, the last row in business class. This plane has 16 business class seats and a standard 2x2 layout. This is a Collins Aerospace MIQ business class seat. It is also featured on American Airlines domestic first class on their narrow bodies and premium economy on their wide bodies. The seat is 21 inches wide with also 38 inches of pitch with a foot rest. There is also a huge IFE screen there is one USB port and an additional headphone jack with additional storage. It is very modern and features a large storage bin right under the armrest. I was able to fit my water bottle in there. There is also a universal power outlet and a three prong headphone jack for the IFE in there. Soon enough the bridge came off the plane and we started our pushback into lane 6. If you need any assistance or have any concerns, please let one of us know and thank you for choosing to fly here.
Beacon. My name is Wayne Freeland. Join me on the flight deck is also Captain uh, Naomi. Uh, we're just uh, finishing in to start procedure and we'll get you shortly on your way to Edmonton. We're just getting an on-time arrival. Uh, current temperatures there are clear skies, both minus 20. Like, thank you for choosing Air Canada and wish you a pleasant flight. Prior to the recertification and hands-on retraining of the MAX, they were stored at Pinal Air Park in Arizona. Since then, Boeing has made these changes to the aircraft so it's safe to fly. The MCAS software has been upgraded. Now it's relying on two readings from the two angle of attack sensors rather than just the one. It will only be activated if both sensors agree on the reading and will only be activated once if it occurs. Additionally, MCAS can be deactivated by the pilots if an inaccurate reading occurs. Also, the wiring bundles in the aircraft have been updated. In addition to the changes, Transport Canada has took a key role in recertifying the aircraft independently of the FAA, but still has made many efforts to collaborate. This includes several new pilot procedures that were developed by Transport Canada in consultation with the FAA and EASA. During the 22-month development of the design and procedural changes, more than 4,000 hours of flight testing was carried out. Some sessions with international crews and observers, including Canada. There are plenty more details, but I'll let you enjoy the departure out of Toronto. After the climb out of the Greater Toronto area, it was time to make myself a bit more comfortable. The new seat also features a new pop-out leg rest. The IFE is new and up to date with all the latest entertainment offerings despite the lack of new movies from 2020. The tray table comes out in the armrest in a new design. I was actually surprised how sturdy the table was. Air Canada has made efforts to restore the food offerings during this pandemic and has provided everything in a very sleek box. The standard omelette and chicken sausage has made a return with a yogurt and fruit parfait and some additional pastries. I actually love how this is presented. It's a nice change up from the usual white tablecloth and hot dish. It offers a nice change up from the norm, even though the normal breakfast offerings have made a return.
yes, it is very small, but I am small as well, and I found no issues with it. But clearly, that's not the case for everyone. I totally understand that. Also, the laboratory just features the standard amenities, despite it being very small. This is a Clean Plus care kit that Air Canada is offering out to all the passengers. This has been updated over the last few months with an additional snack offering and a new updated hand sanitizer. I personally wasn't a fan of the last one. It was very gloopy and sticky on the hands. Air Canada has taken numerous steps to ensure the safety for the passengers, the crews operating the planes, and the maintenance crews. Several different changes have been made including the aircraft flight manual and procedures. These were revised in several different areas, including recognition and recovery scenarios where a malfunction has been detected in the flight deck, workload management, stabilizer trimming techniques, and management of the aircraft energy state, and course of system design changes. During the groundings, the airline has been operating a small amount of non-passenger flights to keep a group of senior training pilots updated with the characteristics of the plane. Maintenance crews have also been updated and trained with the new changes of the aircraft. Air Canada only operates the MAX series of the 737 aircraft, which is key to recertifying pilots specifically to the MAX and not previous iterations like the NG. Today was a turning point for the better in Canada with the 737 MAX. The plane will create a more fuel efficient fleet for Air Canada, but also other carriers operating the MAX series. It will offer more passenger comfort with updated interiors, in-flight entertainment, and larger luggage bins. During my experience today, all these points were met and exceeded as I found myself very comfortable throughout the duration of the flight. And I hope I didn't bore you to death with all the new updated details and kept you entertained throughout the duration of this video. Thank you so much guys, you have a great rest of the day, bye bye. I also hope this will bring more ease when deciding whether or not to fly on a MAX again, as my confidence has been restored. And I honestly can't wait till the day I get to fly on it and work on it again. I really hope you enjoyed this very special video, and I'll see you in the next one.